Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Tech Support. Today I want to show you how to per perform a nozzle check and a head cleaning on your Mac systems for people who have Macintosh uh, computers. I want to let you know how to perform the nozzle check and also do a head cleaning if necessary. Nozzle checks can be done on plain paper unless otherwise uh, recommended for sublimation purposes. Uh, when you print the nozzle check pattern, the yellow is sometimes hard to see. So if you're um, challenged in any way to see the yellow, you would certainly sublimate it. But to get started, we're going to go down to our menu. We're going to click on System Preferences. System Preferences is going to open up and give us the uh, Print Facts option. So we're going to left click there. And you can see your list of printers. You're looking for your Rico printers. This would work for a Rico GX7000, a Rico GX55, I'm sorry, 5050, or a Rico GX3300. It would work for any of the Condi Die Sub Rico printers. So let's uh, start by opening up the print queue. That opens up uh, a little dialog box where you can see a variety of options this is your print queue nothing's in there we're going to go to our nozzle check by left click clicking on the printer's utility and in here uh, you have your status monitor which shows you your ink levels and we can perform head cleanings head flushings head flushings uh, we wouldn't want to do unless you contacted the condi technician uh, we have the nozzle check which is what we're fixing to do you can do alignments from here and also restore your print settings if for any reason uh, you would have to do that. Um, I'm going to left click on nozzle check. This is let, lets us know what's fixing to happen and why. And it's letting you know what tray that it's assigned to and uh, what size paper. So I'm going to click next. This is important because we want to know what the nozzle check is supposed to look like versus or against what the printout will tell us. So four colors, yellow, magenta, black, and cyan. You have a four color printer, CMYK. Yellow is very hard to see as I mentioned earlier. You may have to sublimate it. If you do, use sublimation paper. Otherwise, use just plain paper. It's much less expensive. I'm going to left click on next. And I'm, I'm going to be able to print my pattern. So my patterns came out and so what you'll do is you'll examine the pattern against what you seen on the screen earlier and if your pattern looks good you would just click finish if for, the, for any reason the patterns not good or you're missing color inside the pattern you would just click here on the head cleaning and then go to next now this uh, head cleaning tells you what's fixing to happen um, so you may want to read it. It's, it's telling you why or if, or you know, what the, if the pattern should look a certain way, basically blurred or not printed correctly, that you would perform this this cleaning. So um, to let you know, it, uh, the Epson's the uh, the Epson sublimation printers earlier. Um, of course, you don't have this option where you can choose which print head to clean and that's good because you don't waste ink um, should you have a yellow or magenta uh, color problem you would check this box should you have a black or cyan color problem you would check this box and of course you know if, if you have broken lines in a variety of colors you just go ahead and check these two and then you would click next and this is letting you know what's fixing to happen uh, and it's also saying it may take some time so we're going to click next 
Now, for any reason um, that after the cleaning, most people, I would, um, I would want to check my pattern again to make sure that I made improvements. So um, I would check this box because what's important with the nozzle check and the head clean is that uh, you're verifying that your printer is healthy and that you do uh, repair any issues that you may see in the, in the pattern so that you can print successfully in your jobs. So you would print another test pattern uh, right after the nozzle check. I'm not going to do it. Uh, keep in mind too, a couple of, if you're not making improvement after a couple of cleanings, if the nozzle check's still bad, then I, I recommend you stop and call us here at the Condi Tech Support so that we can um, help you with the next steps into getting your printer back up to healthy. And uh, that's what I would recommend. You wouldn't want to keep draining ink out of your printer if you're not making progress. So keep in mind a um, couple of head cleanings. Usually with the Rico printers it doesn't require but one, maybe two at the most. So I'm just going to go ahead and click finish. And that uh, would conclude on how to do the nozzle check pattern and also the head cleanings. So I'm going to X out of this. Also, if you want to check your ink levels, you can do that from here. So you have the supply level. It shows you what your levels are in your printer, your current levels. And also you have the, uh, the option to check your bypass tray. Say for instance your bypass tray doesn't show up or you can't print to it. You have some options here to make sure that it is selected and, and that you are able to print to it. That's a good little thing to know. And uh, That's it for doing your nozzle check and head cleaning. I hope I've helped. If for any reason you have any questions on this procedure, on how to perform a head cleaning and nozzle check on your Macintosh computer uh, that's connected to your RICO, you can give us a call here at Condi Systems. 1-800-826-6332. We're happy to walk you through it. Again, my name is Vicki, and I'm with Condi Systems Tech Support. Thank you for your time.